Prince Andrew gripped Princess Eugenie's hand today as he and his daughters left the late Queen to lie in state after a final journey from Buckingham Palace. The Duke of York stepped out of Westminster Hall with his daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, following a service on Wednesday afternoon before the lying in state officially opened to the public at 5 p.m. Andrew was pictured holding Eugenie's hand tightly as Beatrice walked close behind. The Duke, his daughters, Beatrice's husband Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi and Eugenie's husband Jack Brooks Bank were among royals who attended the service led by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Andrew's ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, who he shares his Royal Lodge residence in Windsor with, did not attend. It comes after the late Queen's coffin left Buckingham Palace for the last time on Wednesday. The late monarch was effectively handed over to the nation for her lying in state over four days ahead of the state funeral on Monday. Prince Andrew gripped Princess Eugenie's hand as they left Westminster Hall, image, Humphrey Neymar, the Duke of York stepped out with his daughters Beatrice and Eugenie, image, Humphrey Neymar, Piers Morgan swipes at Prince Andrew and selfish Brad Harry as he queries funeral choice Piers Morgan has defended Prince Harry over his right to wear his military uniform to the Queen's ceremonial occasions, but couldn't resist taking a swipe at the royal and his uncle Prince Andrew in the process. In his latest column, Piers branded Harry a selfish brat. Read more here. King Charles led a poignant procession to Westminster Hall where she is now lying in state. The King, in his field marshal uniform, walked in line with his siblings Andrew, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward. The Duke of York was denied the chance to wear a military uniform as he is no longer a working royal. Andrew stepped back from public duties in 2019 after his disastrous Newsnight interview about his association with convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. He settled a civil sex assault case brought against him in the U.S. by Virginia Jufrey earlier this year, but always strenuously denied the allegations and the settlement was not an admission of guilt on his part. Charles Sons, Prince William and Prince Harry who have been at the center of a rift but have united in grief for their grandmother, were behind with Peter Phillips, one of the late Queen's grandsons. The Queen Consort, the Princess of Wales, the Duchess of Sussex and the Countess of Wessex followed by Carr. The late monarch's coffin is lying in state at Westminster Hall, image, Getty. The sisters and their husbands, image, Getty, Beatrice and Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi attend the service, image, Getty, an emotional princess Eugenie, image, Getty, the princess royal's husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Duke of Gloucester, the late Queen's cousin, and her nephew the Earl of Snowdown also walked in the procession which reached Westminster Hall at around 3 p.m. A gun carriage that had borne the coffins of her mother and father carried the late monarch to Westminster Hall as funeral marches were played by military bands. The crowd outside Parliament applauded once the procession had passed through the gates into the Palace of Westminster. The King and the senior royals saluted the coffin as it was carried by a bearer party, eight soldiers from Queen's Company 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards, into Westminster Hall. The procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall, image, Getty, King Charles led the procession on Wednesday afternoon, image, Getty, the Queen's coffin was placed on a catafalque before the Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby conducted a short service. Dozens of wider members of the royal family attended the service including Zara and Mike Tyndall, Lady Louise Windsor Viscount Severn, Lord Freddie Windsor, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, and the Duke of Kent. The Archbishop of Canterbury said, God, the Maker and Redeemer of all mankind, grant us, with thy servant Queen Elizabeth, and all the faithful departed, the sure benefits of thy son's saving passion and glorious resurrection that in the last day, when all things are gathered up in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of thy promises, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
stranding during the procession on Wednesday afternoon, the coffin was draped with a royal standard and the imperial state crown was sitting on top as it was pulled on a gun carriage of the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery. Taking the lead was the pomp and pageantry of the household cavalry mounted regiment and military bands. The procession travelled along the mall, Horse Guards Road, across Horse Guards Arch and on to Whitehall to Parliament Square. Thousands of emotional well-wishers gathered in central London to see the late Queen departing the official residence where she spent so much of her working life at the heart of the nation.